Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another unboxing video from the Game Shack, and today I have Geek Gear. So, I thought that Geek Gear had gone to a bigger box, um, obviously it was just a one-off for last month. So we're back to the normal, sort of like wooden style boxes, which is pretty good. Again, there's no theme to these boxes, uh, but I do know this, a, well, the tea is sort of like a classic Nintendo type item. So, yeah, let's have a look and see what we've got. Um... Uh, Right, so, classic Nintendo, so, ah, oh, cool, right, stop looking, <laughs> right, so classic Nintendo sort of item that they were teasing, I'm guessing, is this, um, 1985 classic gamer, you got NES, NES 64, uh, Game Boy and Game Boy Color, that's a pretty cool t-shirt, I quite like that, I'll wear that on a regular basis, <laughs> that's pretty sweet, so, yeah, actually an item from Geek Gear, which I'm quite happy about, uh, uh, <laughs> something's won't change though. Right, we've got a limited edition Street Fighter coin. I've seen these being put out in a couple of boxes now. Um, I think they're sort of like gold editions of these. Limited to 5,000 worldwide, individually numbered, embossed on both sides, silver edition. Um, I'll leave it in its case. We have a spoiler booklet. Something wrapped uh, Geek Gear merchandise. I'm guessing that this is uh, an exclusive item. With it being individually wrapped, which is pretty nice. Is that? Ah, cool. Yeah, straight away. Uh, looking at that, I was sort of like, what's that? And I saw that, I was sort of like, yeah, I know what that is. So let's have a look and see what it actually is. Yeah. Ah, cool. I, I've seen these and I quite like these. So you've got a Targaryen banner. So you see there, Targaryen fire and blood. Um, I think I'm going to have to try standing up for this. So you can get all this in. Yeah, check that out. That's pretty sweet. That is awesome. I'll write like that. The only thing is now I've got to try and find somewhere in my house where that's going to go. Okay, that is going to go up but I don't know where. Um, and do I have to get the others to go with it? As per usual, Geek Gear can't resist comic book items, and we have an let's put it that way, so that's better. Iron Man apron. Uh, I've got quite a few aprons now. I've got a Stay Puffed apron. I've got a Ghostbusters apron, and I've now got an Iron Man apron. Ghostbusters apron is so cool, actually. In fact, fuck it. Check that out. Look. So yeah, there's me modelling my uh, Ghostbusters apron uh, and the Stay Puff hat. It's pretty cool, quite like that. Uh, we've got a DC item, just for a change. Um, I'm not going to get that out of its packaging, but it, it's just a DC umbrella. Uh, so yeah, in fact you can see a picture. If we'll go focus, there you go, look. Yeah, so you're going to have like that sort of image on the inside. So, uh, yeah. Can we have a month with no DC and Marvel items, please? That would be awesome. Uh, as usual, you get a art print. And this one is actually pretty sweet. I quite like that. Uh, yeah, so there you, have, there you go. You have the Night King. So you see that there? Check that out. I'll bring it in closer so you can get a better look. Yeah, I quite like that. That's pretty sweet. So, what do I think of this month's Geek Gear? Those items, yeah. again, comic book items. I don't want sort of like DC and Marvel stuff all the time. Um, I don't know why I keep, can't get that through to you. Whatever. Uh, but, I quite like that item because I'm a big Street Fighter fan. So that's going to go on display. I don't really have any Street Fighter, I don't really have a Street Fighter display I don't think. I did make a bunch of uh, Hammer Beat Street Fighter things, but I didn't put them up. But I'm going to have to find somewhere for that. Um, you can just see th there. That's like a Ryu headband that I got with, um, I think it was Loot Crate one time. Yeah, so the Targaryen banner, that's awesome. Let's have a look and see what we've got. So, 
subscriber spotlight. We've got some dude called Heroic Dale. Uh, and then there we've got a dude called Dusty Monkey. I've never seen him, but I've seen him sort of like mentioned on um, Facebook and Twitter and stuff at times. Ah, so uh, the Game of Thrones banners, you can get three. So I might have to have a look and see if I can find the other three. Uh, but I'm saying that I've got Targaryen, I don't massively care for any of the others, I don't think. Possibly Stark, but again, it's where are you going to put them? Uh, licensed coins, actually. I could have got Sonic Jurassic Park, Back to the Future, or Street Fighter. Oh. I don't know which I would have preferred, actually. I don't know if you can really see that there. Um, so, yeah, I quite like the Back to the Future one. You've got the DeLorean there and you've got the Flux Capacitor. Don't know if you can really see that, pick that up. Um, there's the Ryu Street Fighter one, the Jurassic Park, and there's a Sonic. Don't know which one I prefer, actually. I'm happy with one I've got anyway, so I'm not fussed. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Again, there's a picture of the umbrella. Um, I'm mega fussed about that. Uh, Iron Man apron, Night King print, which is licensed, and then the t shirt. Uh, next month's. Do you usually have a tease? Uh, next month's hint Ready Player One. I've never actually read that book. I know the film's coming out. I did receive it in one box one time. I can't remember if it was Nerd Block or Loot Crate. Speaking of Nerd Block, they're supposed to be coming back. I'm going to touch on that in a minute. Uh, yeah, so. Um, yeah, so I did receive that, but I sold it because I just don't read books I can never be asked to read. Uh, so I, di I didn't bother with it, like, and I'm kind of a bit gutted now because I've missed out on it, I feel. Uh, but yeah, whatever. Um, so the t-shirt and the print are exclusives, the Game of Thrones banner and everything else, obviously. Um, so yeah, that's what's coming in next month. Uh, uh, as usual, they have a competition, so you can... Post a picture to Twitter and stuff, and um, using the hashtag I Love Geek Gear, and then there's you can get uh, what are they? Noble Collection Hobbit products. So there's like the uh, uh, swords and shit from there. Like, yeah, not too bad. Uh, yeah, so anyway, as I mentioned regarding their block, in a way, I'm kind of happy that they're coming back, and I'm kind of not. Uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Like, I did used to get all four. What well, I think all four. I used to get classic, arcade, sci-fi, and horror at one time. And I liked all four. Um, they did start dropping off a little bit with the quality of items, but you got some decent exclusive items, and that's what I miss about having you know with the blocks nowadays. They always had a decent exclusive item. Like yeah, these have got an exclusive T-shirt and a print, but. It's just not the same as some of the things that I used to get in the nerd blocks, like, and um, I don't know. I just always used to get a bit more excited when I got a nerd block, especially arcade, because I, I literally just want a decent gaming crate, which is why I keep saying Geek Gear gaming crate, because I just literally just want gaming stuff. Uh, I'm not massively bothered about getting comic book stuff. Pisses me off. I just want some gaming stuff. But I know um, Loot Crate, they do one, but that's a lot more expensive, and uh, it takes forever to get here. Uh, I think it's a Colossal Crate, they do a gaming crate, but I think that's pretty much a shite that they just send in there. Pretty much just like fill a tap. Uh, again, I don't massively care for that. So I want a decent gaming crate so I can have some decent merchandise. Um, without being like bombarded with, uh, you know, Marvel and DC products all the time. So, uh, yeah. But we'll see what happens with that. Uh, I know a lot of people are moaning because they're like, oh, I want my money back. Uh, you took money from my account for this. You took money from my account. I understand that. I sympathize with that. But at the same time, I just had a rolling month on month subscription. And I cancelled mine at the time anyway because they were pissing me off with their uh, shipping time. Because they went from, uh, literally from Canada, two to three days it could get here. Sometimes it would take like maybe four or five. But, you know, it's rare it took more than five days to get from Canada. It's bloody good. Uh, but then it went to, like, 10 to 16 days. <laughs> I couldn't be asked for that. It was just doing my head in. Um, obviously, when you're making videos, you want to be out there as soon as you can. If you're making a video and it's taking, you know, is that two weeks after everyone else, no one's watching it. You know, so it's pointless to be doing it. And, I, I, yeah, I only do this for a hobby. I only do this for the fun factor. But it still makes it a bit more or less worth doing because... No one's watching your videos, and it's 
you know, kind of a bit deflating. So anyway, keep an eye on the channel because you never know, no block might pop back up. Um, I probably am going to get the first one just to see what they're like and see if they're continuing. Obviously, you always got good t-shirts then. I have a wardrobe full of actually I had to buy another wardrobe because I got I get that many blocks and stuff. And um, they're just bursting at the seams with t-shirts. And people always buy my t-shirts and you know uh, Super Mario Brother onesies. <laughs> yeah, check this out, look. So yeah, I have a Super Mario Brother onesie. So, yeah, people are buying things like this, so it's ideal to have an extra wardrobe just for merchandise. Um, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed, subscribe now. Uh, I do uh, a few unboxings. I've got a Poptastic Geek Box coming up soon. Uh, I think that's a two-pop box. Uh, they always get little bits and bobs in there. Um, I don't have anything else in terms of boxes coming at the minute because there's not really that many decent boxes out there which I really feel as though I should purchase. Um... I keep teasing the Z-Box, but every time I say that, I look at an unboxing video and it's shit. So, uh, and again, it's just sort of like fill a tat, and it's just stuff I can just go and buy off the shelf. Nothing exclusive, and if I want them items, I'll just go out and buy them. It's exclusive items that you want, and decent items which you don't think to get. So, I don't know. That's why I'm missing no black, I guess. So, anyway. Uh, if you do like this sort of box, then, you know, feel free. I'll put a link in the description below. Pop below and go and get that. See what you think to that. So, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Cheers now.